Hello, that's right here. Okay, well done for taking action and investing in your future and improving your IELTS score. That's fantastic. Let's see. The line graph illustrates the preferred movie genre among, among young men and women worldwide. Good. Is it worldwide? Let's see. Yeah, it is. Sorry. Totally right there. Overall, comedy movies have been highly popular among the youth in comparison to other genres. Good. Furthermore, romantic movies were the second most preferred type of movie among the females, whereas action... I think we should have a comma in here. Whereas action movies fit the same ranking in the context of men. Good. Um, just a, t a, a tip to improve... Um, to improve your writing here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine words. Okay. And all we needed to do was just say, uh, whereas action movies were second favorite for men. Okay. Second favorite for men. We could have said it in four. And what I'm trying to do is reduce the verbosity, reduce and, and make it more succinct, more concise, because this is how good native speaker English academic writing is written. Yeah, it's succinct. It's not fluffy. The least up to genre, the least favored, preferred. Okay, I know we've got to increase the variety of our language and avoid repetition, but not at the cost of using the incorrect vocabulary. So just bear that in mind. So the least favored genre of movie, movies, it's singular, isn't it? The most fav most the least favored genre of movie among the young masses was masses necessary there uh, among the surveyed among the participants, probably the best word there was the animated ones or were the animated ones yeah, plural comedy movies seem to be seem to be the favorite type of movies with 145 men viewing it, whereas 137 women opting for the same. Whereas is for to compare, there's no comparison here. Yeah. Um, so maybe we could just say comedy could, yeah, there's no comparison because they're both, this is the same data. You see, the both of them preferred it. So comedy movies seem to be the favorite and it's not seem, it's, it's not sort of like an impression it's a it's an observation it's a clear factual observation so it's comedy movies are the are the most favored type of movie are the most favored type with 150 men and 137 women choosing this genre full stop yeah this is similar to the popularity of action movies among men, which reached 137 mark and 82 mark for females. Okay, but I can't see the similarity. Uh, fair enough, it's a similar number, but that's not the biggest similarity. Yeah? Um, because here, the numbers are broadly the same. Here, there's a massive difference. Yeah? It's like almost half. While romantic movies were the second most viewed genre of, by, of films by females, with 166 females watching them, Oh, let's see, films. Yes, yeah, so you made it plural there and you made it singular there. So just be careful. So this is, ah, this is a good sentence. This is not the same case for men. It's only 31 men um, voted that it was their favorite or only 31 men liked this type of film. Yeah, but can't say view because we're not talking about viewing the films, okay? Oh, beautiful, which is three times lower than females. Good work there. Good work. Furthermore, animated movies seem to be the least favorite movies among the females as, as only 54 females watch such films. Whereas in terms of men, they shared similar popular ma popularity among two genres, animation and drama, by reaching the 63 mark. Mm. This could have also been rewritten. I'll give you an example. Furthermore, animated movies seem to be the least favorite movies among females as only 53 as, as only 54 females voted in favor of this genre full stop um whereas in terms of men um both animation and drama reached a similar a similarly low number of 63 yep 
Um, so really we need to work on the phrasing here and the vocabulary and also avoid making mistakes like this. Okay, let's have a look at your task one. International marketing has been under scrutiny by some as they believe that they are harmful to the, that they, it's not they, yeah, it. It is harmful to the host country, whereas others advocate that it could be beneficial to them in terms of culture, economical games, and also, and also spreading essential developments in the world. Okay, good. Okay, my opinion is in line with the latter argument. However, this is... Okay, so delete this or adapt it to this topic. At the moment, it's generic and it's empty. I can put this into a sentence, into an essay about climate change, and it's semi-relevant, okay? Um, so how do we adapt it? Well, we could say something like, my opinion in this line with the latter argument. However, this essay shall discuss both perspectives using examples from Saudi Arabia and Sweden to demonstrate points and prove arguments. Okay, now we've made it relevant, very relevant, in fact, to this essay. Substantial amount of people believe that international marketing promotes not only their goods and services, but also foreign cultures, which at times disregards the host country's culture and traditions. Okay, this could be seen as a threat to the existence of these current cultures, because it's plural, and traditions, and therefore is frowned upon by these groups of people. Good. Just need to be aware of Saxon uh, of singular and plural agreement. For instance, in a con in a conservative country like such as sounds a little bit more academic, Saudi Arabia car advertising depicting women driving were prohibited from airing as they believed it went against their religious values, wherein women are banned from such activities. Excellent, good work, there. good work. Just a tip: add, add therefore at the end and summarize your paragraph and then it kind of closes your argument and it just adds to your cohesion and coherence score. On the contrary, international marketing can be viewed as a boon as it, as at times it could be promoting goods and services that could bridge some of the existing gaps in the host countries. Good. It could also promote the latest developments taking place in other parts of the world. A prime example of this would be the promotion of portable waterless toilets from Sweden in India, which made life much easier for the citizens who live in remote areas to be able to access a basic lavatory. Excellent. It also seems to aid in the water prevention strategies in the areas where water is a scarce resource. Beautiful. Such development and knowledge would not be possible without international marketing. Excellent. So this is a good summary as well. This is what we wanted here. Excellent work there. Very impressed. In conclusions, no, in conclusion, though some may assume that international marketing promotes trivial ideas and contentious concepts, beautiful sentence, is essential in terms of the develop, in terms of development of the country, and dispersing vital information about the world. Excellent worker, excellent. So Tash response was good, especially this argument about the advertisements. That was spot on. Here we're kind of stretching it a little bit because we kind of went a slightly off topic. We're not really talking about um, advertising or promotions or things like that. Uh, but this one we definitely did, so that's fantastic. So your lexical resource is really good as well. We do need to work on some of the grammar. And also I think um, Google Docs will help you a lot with some of the mistakes, you see? Um, so ha keep using Google Docs. And if you want to keep on improving, yeah, have a look at the links that I send you. Um, and if you join us in the next 24 hours, we can upgrade you to the full package. And also, um, we'll give you two extra essay corrections for free. Okay, so have a great day and all the best with your IELTS preparation. Take care.